Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are all doing well. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful here today. Uh, as always, I got to give you a weather update. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's uh, it's get it's starting to warm up. So I'm I guess I'm gonna have to switch over to some uh, shorts here in a little bit because I'm wanting to work out in my yard. But it is. It's gorgeous here, and and it's finally starting to feel more spring-like, and so I'm excited about that. And anyway, I wanted to get up here and do a Whip Wednesday. I haven't done one of those in a very long time, but um, I thought today would be a, a good day being Wednesday and, and show you guys what uh, I'm going to be working on. And I've actually started on it, and um, hopefully I'll be working on it uh, this evening. But anyway, um, I found it the other day. Uh, I believe it was over in um, Ravelry. And so, uh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta make that. That is so cute. And right now I've, I've got, you know, you know, the spring fever. And so, uh, I've been wanting to make some things for my house and I'm really wanting to get me some more house plants. Well, being that now that I can, uh, I can have them, but I put them in my bedroom and I, cause I have to keep my door shut because, you know, I have a CPAP machine and so I don't need all the cat hair, you know, trying to get into that so I have to keep my um, door shut plus I don't need um, one of my kitties to want to chew on something like the cord <laughs> and so uh, didn't want to take that chance so I keep my door shut so I'm not they're not able to get in there so I thought well I, I'm going to get me some uh, house plants and so I ended up um, getting me some that were like non-toxic you know I don't want to get anything that would harm my kitties or anything like that in case one of them did get in there and I didn't know it <laughs> and uh, and I would really like to have them in my living room but I know my cats would mess with them and so I then hubby made me a plant stand and uh, and I do have a few sitting in there on the uh, stand that he made me and if I think about it I'll insert a picture but anyway <laughs> back to the pattern I found a pattern and it is uh, free on their blog, and I'm hoping I say this right. I don't know, I'll, but I'll have a link down below where you can go find it if you'd like to make you one of them. And it's made by, it's on a website called Made by Goody. I think that's how you say it. Goody, I think is how you say it. And it's called the Crochet Plant Hanger, the Suzette Double Hanging Basket. And so, like I said, as soon as I seen it, I thought I'm going to check it out because I've always wanted to make things you know like to put plants in and hang them and actually I can make one of these and put it in my living room and, and there's no way my kitty cats can get to it <laughs> hanging it on the wall so like I said as soon as I seen it I knew I was wanting to make me one and she calls to use um, it's best to use cotton yarn because it won't stretch like you know um, acrylic yarn and so um, I have some cotton yarn that I decided I wanted to, to make it with and I decided to go with white and it's going to be hanging actually it's going to be hanging in my bathroom I, I, my bathroom that's off of my bedroom has a wall that faces uh, which direction is that west yeah west <laughs> and so there's a wall there where I can actually hang it on in front of the window where it will get some sun and so I'm wanting to get me some succulent plants that I can put in there and have it hanging on that one wall where there's nothing there. So I'm really excited about it. So I'm, I'm using cotton and I'm using solid white. Now, I'm probably going to have to get me some more because I only had one skein of solid white cotton and I had a couple of little scrap balls. So I'm going to just um, see if I can find some at Walmart. Hopefully it'll all match. I mean, it's white, but I know... It might be off just a little bit, but we'll see. So I'm using Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton in white. And then I have a tiny little scrap ball here. And this is what I've got so far. Right here. And uh, I'll insert a picture of what hers looks like. And it's I love this stitch. It's like a double crochet and a single crochet. And uh, it's all in one piece. And then you're going to be flipping it around. To where you know you'll be able to enclose it and then put your plant down in there so i'm really excited about it so i'm going to be making two of them one for me and one for my daughter and i got my little mood uh, stitch marker that my friend cheryl 
got me on here and it's see it's already changing colors and speaking of mood uh, rings look what i found guys <laughs> this is kind of funny because you know i'd been talking on my last video about how i would like to uh get me another mood ring because you know back in the 70s i wore one and even later on and you know as a kid my friends had one you know and when during class or after in between classes we would always meet up in the hall and say hey you know what color is it now you know what mood are you in now <laughs> so anyway i happened to be looking for some jewelry that I, it just came to my mind and i thought i know i've got a ring like that not the mood ring but it was another kind of a ring and so i went looking in my uh, jewelry box that i had stored away and when i opened it up i seen this ring in there and i thought what kind, what is that that almost looks like a mood ring and so when i got it out i put it on my finger it was still it was darker than what it is there but i thought i don't know so I, I put it I had my husband put it on and I said put this on to see if it changes colors and his started turning green so I knew then it was a mood ring so I've been wearing it ever since <laughs> so I'm excited about it I can't believe I found my a mood ring that I had all this time because I was fixing to order one but anyway it matches my little mood stitch marker and I love this so much but anyway that's what I got so far and if I remember right they're going to be triangles because this will turn you know It'll keep going, getting bigger, and then it almost looks like a tree, and then it goes back out again. So it's really, it's a lot of fun to make, and uh, I can't wait to get them done and hang them on the wall. And, um, yeah, so, anyway, I'll, it's free on her, uh, her blog if you'd like to make you one, too, and I'll put, like I said, I'll put the link down below. Tomorrow, me and Hubby are going to go out of town, and I'm wanting to go to a, a greenhouse and check out their uh, house plants because I'm... I'm wanting to get me some <laughs> now that I know I can put them in my bedroom and uh, keep the kitties from getting a hold of them unless I make me one of these to put on the wall but uh, yeah I looked up uh, house plants that were not, not toxic to cats and dogs and so I found some so I'm excited about it okay so that's what I got there and so that's what I'll be hopefully working on this evening I'm going to do some uh, yard work since it's so pretty today i did some yesterday and uh, did some leak raking of the leaves and and i've got some bark that i'm wanting to put out and just kind of clean up my flower bed some more and just just be outside in general because i absolutely love being outside all the time and now that it don't get uh dark till later uh yeah i stay out pretty much till about 7 I think or maybe 7 30 is when it's getting dark right now I don't know but I stay out pretty late <laughs> that's the only thing bad about it is uh I stay out late and then when it's time to go in I'm eating late and I don't like doing that because I did that yesterday and I didn't sleep very well because of it I think so I got to teach myself to eat before I come out and then uh, maybe I'll sleep better <laughs> but anyway I guess I'm gonna hop off here that's what I'm doing on my whip wednesday and put down below what you guys are working on if you want to uh, what you know what you got working on today um anyhow i guess i'm going to hop off here i might go ahead and do my i hadn't done my throwback thursday in a good while and i might go ahead and do one right after this one and just upload upload it tomorrow if i don't get around to it then you'll know <laughs> but anyway i hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed day and i'll be chatting at you guys real soon <laughs> okay i'm back as always i get ahead of myself i forgot to mention i am using a 5.5 millimeter hook eye hook there and it is double stranded uh forgot to mention that too so you can also make it out of the the acrylic yarn you just need she suggest she suggests using a bulky yarn that way it can be sturdier and it won't stretch as much but anyway that's what i'm using and too stranded <laughs> anyway i'll be chatting to you guys soon